hey guys good morning welcome to nigra techies in this video i'm going to explain how to create the fake api using this json server concept and also i'm going to cover how to test all the http verbs using this postman so here i listed out all the steps we can go one by one so the first step is we have to install this json server in your machine so let me take this command and the very important thing is this installation is for the one time process if you already installed in your machine you are not required to install for each and every project okay okay great the json server installation gets completed the second step is we have to execute this command for running our api Okay, great. See so, you now, whoops, the db.json does not seem to exist. So creating this db.json. So basically this command will check in your application. If you have this db.json file, it will use. Otherwise, it will generate the new db.json file and including some default methods. Currently, we have these three methods. So let me copy one of the URL. Okay, we have seen some of the default data. Now let me go to the postman. In the postman, I'm going to click this new, add this HTTP request. I'm going to use this get method only. I just added. So if I'm clicking the send request, I am able to get the same data. Now let me go to the application. In the db.json file, I am able to see these three objects, one is post and commands and the final one is profile. So these three objects only converted as the individual services. So now what I'm going to do, I need to remove all this method. Instead of that, I am going to create my own API. So let me save it. See now it's simply refreshed and currently we have only one URL local cost 3000 slash company so now i am going to use this company services using this company services i am going to test all our http verbs so let me take this one see i am getting the status is 200 only but i don't have any data so now let me check my post method post so the url i am going to use the same url for the post method, we have to pass the object as the parameter, the raw data, and the input type should be JSON. So for the organization, first I should have the code, the name, entry, infotech. So the similar way I can include the multiple fields. Okay, great. Now let me execute this post method. See now I am getting the responses to not one, it's created. Now let me go to our get method. So initially we don't have any values. So if I'm trying to send and request, I am able to get the one record, okay? And also the ID is generated as one. Now let me create one more record. The code is organization to entry info tech India and other things are same. See now it's created the new record. So let me verify it from our get method. Okay, the second record also it's available. Now let me go to the source code. So in the db.json file. So initially we just created the company object. Now we are able to see the two objects are gets included. Now let me verify the get by code method. So let me create one more new tab. I'm copying the same URL. So here I'm going to pass our ID. So let me provide true. So it's returning the single object of ID 2. So in case if I'm providing 3, we don't have any records. So the empty object is returned. Okay. So if I'm providing 1, so it will return fine. 
so we have completed the three actions now let me move on to the put method so the url is same and also i'm going to copy the same object so instead of this get i'm going to change into put again the body raw and the input type should be json just added okay so this is my input object and the key value i am going to change the one okay here i am going to change the name entry groups and the address is first straight come then straight chennai 48 so let me send on the request okay look like it's modified so we can verify from our get method see now the company name and address both are got changed okay and a similar way if i want update the second one i just need to change this id nt groups limited and the code should be true okay so let me execute once again so if you checked this id2 currently it's having the nt infotech india after executing so it's changed into nt groups limited okay now we have completed our put method also the final one is delete so let me go to the third tab and i'm going to use the same url and the method type should be delete okay here actually passing the key value in the url itself before that let me go to my source code we can check the objects see here also all the values are updated instantly we have two objects now if i'm trying to execute this one see i am getting this status is 200 okay so let me check the object here see now the one object gets gone now i am trying to delete once again actually the id won't be don't have the data see now the 404 error now let me remove the second one also so this one also gets deleted so again the get method is same we don't have any data now you may have the questions so whenever you are posting the records it will generate the new id one true so based on the data okay so in case if i am using id column what will happen or else i am trying to give true okay so let me verify this one So in this case, ID2 is generated. Now I'm going to use the same ID once again. See now, the insert failed because the ID is the key value, okay? So in case, if you are trying to insert the duplicate records, it's owned allow. So now let me change this one into one. Then it will allow. So the idea is if you are providing the ID, it will consider in case if you are not providing the IDs, it will generate automatically. Okay. Now I have one more question. So can we use string as the ID? So let me try code one. Okay. It's allowed. So you can see. And again, if you are trying to insert the same key, okay the duplicate error if i'm trying to give the code to then it will allow okay this is great now let me verify one more scenario i'm going to remove this id okay so currently we have two ids two one and other two are in the string format so let me execute once again see now it's created so whenever it's creating the new id it will generate in the integer format only 
it will take the maximum value otherwise if you are providing the default value from your code it will consider that id okay now <coughs> okay great now we are in the end of the video let me provide the short notes the first thing is we have installed the json server and the second thing uh, we have created this db.json using these commands and how many services required based on that you have to define your objects and the second thing is using this post method we are posting the objects if you are providing the id it will consider otherwise it will generate automatically and the very important thing is uh, you can provide any values in this id it should be integer or the string so we have done this video in my next video i am going to implement this all services in our angular application thank you thanks for watching